Once you've purchased your carpet from Auto Custom Carpets, it's good to open up your box and remove your carpet so that all the wrinkles from the packaging can relax and become more manageable. Pop the contours back into the carpet so that you can see the carpet's indentations. When your carpet is laid out, you are ready to begin removal of the seats. The tools needed to do most carpet installations are shown here. A complete wrench set, Phillips and flathead screwdriver, cutting utensils, and a plastic retaining clip remover for door seals. You may want to check with your dealer before you unplug your battery for seat removal. Unplugging the battery may reset the stereo and security features on your vehicle that require a code to activate once you plug in your battery. Once your seats are successfully removed, place the seat out of the way and be careful when removing. You can now begin removal of your seat belts and anything else which may be holding your carpet to the floor. You will need a star bit to remove seat belts. This bit can be found at your local automotive parts store. And next would be your console removal. Followed by kick panel removal, and finally, back seat removal. You are now ready to remove your old carpet. Place the old carpet next to your new carpet and compare. ACC carpet comes wide and untrimmed, so don't be surprised when your new carpet is slightly larger than your old carpet. In this case, you can see there will be cuts that need to be made. The majority of these cuts will be done inside the vehicle. The only cuts outside of the vehicle which need to be made are simply the ones needed to place the carpet inside of the vehicle. Take a measurement from your old carpet and apply it to your new carpet, remembering to allow two inches for error. This cut is being made so the carpet will fit over the console area. And remember, there's no need to replicate the large holes from your old carpet. Always make small cuts before cutting large holes in your new carpet. After your carpet is removed, it is recommended for you to vacuum the underlying surface for smooth placement. Now you're ready to slide your new carpet underneath your firewall and underneath your pedals. Work on just getting the contours fitted. Don't worry about having access to the outside. Your main focus at this time is to get all of your contours lined up properly. Once your carpet is placed along its contours, you are now ready to make relief cuts along your console. Always work from the middle outward in all four directions. This ensures that you don't cut your carpet too short. Remember not to move your carpet while removing your excess carpet. Once your carpet has been trimmed, you are now ready to create your seat holes and seat belt holes through your carpet. Use a sharp pointed object to locate your holes. If you have access to a hole saw, you can run it in reverse, which will create a clean round cut. Or you can also use a utility knife. Just remember to take out a small amount at a time. It may be necessary to lift your carpet several times to locate your holes and don't forget 
about your electrical wires that come through for your seats and seat belts. You are now ready to install your back seat. And don't forget about pulling your seat belts back through their slots. Now reinstall your kick panels. Your console is next, and don't forget to reattach any electrical connections. Reinstall all screws and accessories in the order which you remove them. After your console, you can move on to reinstalling your seat belts. You are now ready to install your seats. Remember to reattach any electrical connections to your seats. After your seats, you are now ready to put your door seals on and complete the final trimming of your carpet. Congratulations! You have now successfully completed the installation of your new carpet Enjoy, and thank you for purchasing your carpet from Auto Custom Carpets.